Hey everyone, welcome back to That Guy Jack. Okay, so this is my second video on the channel. Um, it's Big Shot time, we are going to be doing a mod. Air restriction removal. Let's just get straight into it. Uh, a screwdriver. Um, and needle nose pliers. But it also may be good, just in case, to have a hammer and a drill. First, take off this plastic shell. So, I'm going to go ahead and use the drill, because I can, and that's me. So let me just re-angle the camera, and we can be off to work. this angle I'm gonna keep it so now if you have a flathead screwdriver this would be great you need to gently pry apart now place it down very carefully making sure none of those screws fly out now you can take this other bit of the channel off. and now it looks a lot like we just have a jolt for mecha darts. Now what we need to do, modding a jolt, um, yeah. you have to unscrew these, these four screws. And these are very tiny, so be careful not to lose them. I do not have one here, but I advise you get a bowl to put them in. And on this last screw, I'll kind of go slowly and hold this plate down because it's going to want to pop up like that. So now you can take the plunger tube out. What we're trying to get at is that air restrictor down there and let me turn the flashlight on okay. and there's an air restrictor in there and that's what we're trying to get out let's take some needle nose pliers the first thing we want to get out is just we want to get the spring out It's okay that this is broken because you won't need it anymore. And now you can see that we have the air restrictor in there. And you can see that there are these three tiny pegs. And you just want to take your needle nose pliers and just kind of grab onto them and just twist. That should easily break them. I'm having a bit of trouble with these ones. I'm pretty sure I will be able to get this with pliers. Well, there's the air restrictor. Oh, that's weird. They have this rubber o-ring on it. So actually this air restrictor is pretty easy. There's that piece. So now you can hear it. There's nothing rattling around inside there. And now we just have the barrel post. And we are going to remove this barrel post. So now this will allow you, see you can see the barrel post in there. This will allow you to, to fire other darts like rival darts. And you want to grab as far down on the post as you can so you get it. And you just want to kind of tug. So 
So let's just try it and remove this barrel post. It'll take a bit of work. Okay, so I will come back to you when I get this barrel post out, okay? Okay, so I've gotten the barrel post out. But, and you can see I took a bit too much out. See, we have these little plastic bits here. That is somewhat bad because now you can see we only have one tiny, um, one tiny piece right here. Um, and that's going to be the only thing holding the dart from going all the way back. So, watch out for that. If you pull it out, always be careful w when you're doing this. If you pull it out and you see three three of those things, um, then you may, then you have to be really careful when inserting the dart. And you just have to know that you can only ins insert it that far and don't push it all the way in. And that's gonna be hard in a rush, but you gotta get used to it. So now, what you can do is we can put the plunger tube back in. You will, you will have to hold the trigger down while doing this. Then plug it back in like this. And we can So we, so we can take our flat head, or sorry, Phillips head screwdriver. Okay. I'm not going to use an electric screwdriver for this because I actually just cracked this piece by drilling it in too far. I should probably loosen that up a bit. Just get that in. Yep, so see, now that screws in and it's just popped off. But I have three other screws to try and get one in, so I think I should be okay. So let's. Now, put the screw back together. You can hear it's making a very loud sound. And if we put the dart in, it shoots fine. And also, here's a fun part. You can take our rival round, stick it in. I recommend sticking it about flush with the barrel. And you can now fire rival rounds with the big shot. So let's put it back in its shell.
whenever you're drilling plastic, I'm like I am, if your screwdriver has this feature, always set it on a three. your plastic so now we have a me uh, mega big shot with um, improved performance and it can fire rival rounds you can actually hold five balls at once now we can take something like a pocket knife or not pocket knife a file you can scratch off the mega. And if you're having trouble getting that completely off, now that you've scratched it up a bit, you can get something like some acrylic paint and just paint over that. And that was the video. Um, uh, we took the air restriction out of a Big Shock and took out the, um, the barrel post. So now it can fire um, both mega darts and rival rounds. Lol, whoops, let's try again. And, and rival rounds. So thank you for watching That Guy Jack. Please remember to subscribe and hit the bell um, so you can be notified every single time I upload a video. Um, like if you liked the video and comment down below what you'd like to see next. Other than that, thanks for watching That Guy Jack. Stay, stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you guys next time.